All right, so here in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with parallelograms and their diagonals. The rule for parallelograms and their diagonals are that the diagonals from corner to corner and the other corner to corner, these two lines, they bisect each other. They cut each other in half, okay? So this line divides this line into two congruent pieces. This is the same length as this, and vice versa. This line cut this line, AC, into two pieces, where AE and EC are the same length. Okay? Let's use this rule. This video is going to be in two pieces. There's going to be two problems that we're going to do. So the first problem we're going to do is going to involve a diagonal where you have half of a diagonal and a whole diagonal. If that's not what you need to know, then look in the, look in the um, comment box below. You'll see, or the description box below, you'll see what time the other problem starts, the half and half problem. Okay? But to start with a half and a whole, let's look at what you're given. I told you that segment AC, from A to C, well, right away you need to tell me, is this half of a diagonal or a whole diagonal? Well, it looks like it's the entire diagonal, all the way from A all the way to the corner, C. This is my whole diagonal. And then the other diagonal, from A to E, AE. Well, this is only part of the diagonal. This is only half of the diagonal, okay? Because remember, they bisect each other. AE is half. What you need to remember is how many halves are there in a whole? Two. So you need two of these halves to make one whole. So the rule for a half and a whole of a diagonal are that two times the half equals the whole. That's the rule. If you double the half, you should have the same length as the whole. All right? So let's actually try this. Well, my half was this. AE was 3x plus 2. So I'm going to take that. 2 times the half, 3x plus 2, equals the whole. Well, the whole was negative 4 plus 10x. How you're going to solve this is you're going to distribute this 2 times the first term in the parentheses. 2 times 3x is 6x. And then distribute the 2 to the other term in the parentheses. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4. Bring everything else down. Equals negative 4 plus 10x. Okay? At this point, we're going to solve an equation like we normally do. See if you can combine into like terms. This has an x in it. This doesn't. This has an x in it. This doesn't. So we can't combine like terms like that. So let's get x on the same side. Alright? x is on the left. x is on the right. I don't want them on different sides. So let's move one of them to the other side. I usually move the smaller one, so I'm going to move this 6x away. Since it's positive 6x, I need to subtract 6x from the left and from the right. These 6x's will cancel, leaving with 4 equals negative 4. 10x minus 6x is 4x. We're almost done. We need to get x alone. Well, since x is on the right, everything's coming to the left. To get rid of this negative 4, I need to do the opposite, I need to add 4 to the right and to the left. The 4's will cancel. 4 plus 4 is 8 equals 4x. This is gone, remember. Almost done. Last step. If you want x alone and this says 4 times x, you do the opposite. Instead of multiplying, we divide. Divide by 4, divide by 4. The 4's will cancel. And 8 divided by 4 is 2. So in this case, x equals 2. All you have to do now is plug x back in. This said for ac, it was negative 4 plus 10 times x. Well, we know x is 2. So this says 10 times 2, 20. Negative 4 plus 20, well, that's negative, I'm sorry, that's positive 16. So AC is 16 units long, inches or feet, whatever it happens to be in this particular problem. So AC is 16. We know that. The whole length is 16. Plug it in for the half. Well, I have a pretty good idea that it's going to be 8, because half of 16 is 8. Let's see if it is. If X is 2, this says 3 times 2, which is 6. And 6 plus 2 is 8. So the half is 8. What about this last question, though? EC. Let's see. AE was half, EC is the other half. Well, if they're half and half, halves are equal to each other. Otherwise, they wouldn't both be half. It wouldn't make sense. So if this is 8, EC is 8. Okay? 
Okay? That's how you do a problem where you're given a whole and a half. All right? That's it. Now I'm going to show you another problem. This is the second problem. The other problem is when I give you a half and a half. So let me move my laptop over to the other board. All right, let's take this over here. All right. So this particular problem that we see here, we've got this parallelogram, S, T, Q, R, M in the middle. We're given that M, R is 6 plus X. We're given that Tm is 2x minus 6. So let's see. Mr is half of this diagonal. We've got Tm is the other half of that diagonal. Okay, so this is half and this is half. A half and another half. Well, if they're both half, we should pretty much have a pretty good idea that two halves are equal to each other. There's no way they could be half otherwise. Otherwise, one would be slightly more than half, one would be slightly less. So when you have two halves, you set them equal to each other. Okay? We know that half should be equal to half. Alright? So let's set them equal. This equals this. 6 plus x equals 2x minus 6. Okay? We're going to solve this equation. We want x, let me make this a little bigger. That looks a little better. We want x is alone. Well, I've got x on both sides. I couldn't combine it into like terms. So get rid of the smaller x. This is 1x, this is 2x. I'm going to get rid of this one. Since it's positive 1x, to get rid of it, you have to subtract 1x. Subtract x from the left, subtract x from the right. These will cancel. Bring everything down. 6 equals. 2x minus 1x is 1x, or just x, minus 6. To solve this, we need x alone. Well, x is on the right. All your constants should come over to the left. To get rid of this negative 6 or the subtraction of 6, do the opposite. Add 6 to the right and to the left. On the right, they cancel. On the left, 6 plus 6 is 12. Let me erase this. Equals comes down, x comes down. So in this case, we know that x is 12. Remember, we said these are both halves. So I have a pretty good idea that they should be equal. Let's see if make that actually works. Well, 6 plus x, and x is 12. So 6 plus 12, that means that mr is 18. This piece right here is 18 inches or feet or units long. Tm is 2 times x minus 6. Well, 2 times x or 2 times 12. 2 times 12 is 24. 24 minus 6 is 18. So Tm is also 18. This piece here is 18. Now what I usually ask you for is, if I gave you both halves, I ask you for the whole. Let's see. Tr. T to r. That is the whole diagonal. Well, a whole diagonal is made up of two halves. So add them together. 18 plus 18 is 36. Okay? Since TR is the whole thing, it's made up of TM and MR, add them up. That's it. Okay?